if I'm such a nobody, if I'm an idiot that nobody watches, then why is your asshole so sore at the end of my videos? <laughs> don't usually make video responses to comments that are made on my videos. But over the last two days, <clears throat> I've gotten some comments from, uh, let's see here, no or, nor, nor 786 light, you fucking jackass. And these comments were so absurd that I just had to say something about them. She's she's one of she she identified herself as a female. But uh she's one of QWERTY F Shag's devout followers. And she was responding to um the two videos that I made to QWERTY, um, uh, Intolerant Muslims and, and Generalizing. And, uh, uh, she, she starts off saying things like, I'm jealous of QWERTY. What the fuck does he have to be jealous of? He's a dopey, gangly, fucking goofball. And that, and that I should, that I should subscribe to him. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the day. <clears throat> I try not to subscribe to idiots. Just saying, just saying. She says that I love QWERTY. And that I should subscribe to him. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Out of 150 some videos, I've made two videos about QWERTY F Shag. Now let's put that in perspective. I've made three videos about Veritas 48. I've made three videos about the pro-life guy. I've made four videos about my neighbor. I've made um, six or seven videos about Empty Without Jesus. I only pick on QWERTY F Shag when there's nobody else around. Everybody watches QWERTY's videos and nobody watches your videos. Okay, alright, well, atheists have been saying this for years. Popular does not mean right. He's still a fucking retard no matter how many people are subscribed to him. And she says all these things to me as if, as if I give a fuck what you have to say. I, I don't care. If you're so butthurt that you're going to leave a comment on my videos and try to insult me, <laughs> you really have no idea who you're dealing with, do you? I don't give two dry cat shits about what you have to say. I don't even care what my subscribers, the people who do watch my videos, have to say. I don't care about them. Watch this. RT Ottensy, lose some weight. Your size disturbs me. Iter pro libertas, you're so far in the closet you're finding Christmas presents. Ah. <sighs> uh. Before I knew she was a woman, I told her to go back to Afghanistan, suck Osama Bin Laden's dick, and oppress some more women. And then she says, but I am a woman, and I love wearing the veil. I'm oppression free. Well, of course you're going to say that. You're a fucking Muslim. Go, go talk to some ex-Muslim women, okay? It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like flying in coach. And I realize it's bad taste to be making an airplane analogy when talking about Muslims, but it, it fits. It's, it's kind of like flying in coach, okay? 
flying in coach isn't so bad unless you've already flown in first class and you know what you're missing. <laughs> Islam is an angry, violent, ignorant, intolerant, hateful, oppressive religion. To, to believe in, in Islam means that you're taking the word of a man who, if he was alive today, the authorities would not allow him to reside within 500 yards of a playground. It, it's just as bad as, as believing um, a bullshitter <clears throat> or, or a con artist or, or a, 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 some lunatic hermit. The most, the most absurd thing about Islam is that it requires the belief of, of some magical sky daddy that shat out the universe one day. I would not hire a Muslim to be a countdown announcer. Which is kind of ironic considering I know how much you terrorists love your explosives. <laughs>